Hello, community. You know, Paul's approach to the Galatians here with these two probing questions is rather unique. He typically opens his letters with a prayer or a word of encouragement for the believers. But here in Galatians, he's so concerned about this major issue that he cuts right to the chase in the first few verses. False teachers, likely Judaizers, have been teaching a different gospel, misleading and confusing them. His warning against following them is so stern that he repeats it in the two preceding verses. Only time in scripture that I can remember, the two verses are almost identical. But let's take a look at Paul for a minute. He was an expert people pleaser. He was raised in Jewish home, educated with the best teachers like Gamaliel, and a self-described Hebrew of the Hebrews and a Pharisee, all until he met Jesus. At that moment, he set aside all of those trainings, traditions, and expectations of the Jews to follow Christ alone. That became the single goal for the rest of his life. I've been dealing with some pretty tough issues with the Galatians, Corinthians, and others to follow Jesus rather than men. You know, we learn early on out of necessity to please people from our parents and our teachers to eventually mates, supervisors, and other people in charge of us along our path. The challenge for us is allowing any of those relationships to take precedence over our first and foremost allegiance to Jesus. When we accept him as Lord, he both deserves and desires our ultimate obedience. I found some wise words from Proverbs 2925 in my devotions this week that apply to that. The fear of human opinion disables, but trusting in God protects you from that, says the message. And he helps us to truly be his servant above all. So this week, prayerfully, carefully, reflect and consider your response to Paul's questions and to his challenge today. And have a blessed day.